screen. Just across the Mississippi state line today, hundreds gathered in a church to say their final goodbyes to U.S. Marshal killed in the line of duty. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder spoke at 27-year-old Josie Wells' funeral in his hometown in Jackson County. Local 15's Lawrence Archipone has more on the young man who dedicated himself to law enforcement. Faith, honor, integrity. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder repeated those words at Josie Wells' funeral. As we take him to his rest today, I would ask that you remember this, this true American hero. This true American hero. Not for how he lost his life, but for how he lived it. With faith, with compassion, and with the joy that only those who, who truly give, who truly give, can ever really experience. 27-year-old Josie Wells, a U.S. Marshal, was killed during a shootout with a fugitive in Baton Rouge. He and his wife Channing were expecting their first child, a son who will be named Josie Wells Jr. And it will be up to every one of us, every one of us, to share with him the story of his father's extraordinary life. We will tell him that his father was a man who believed in the importance of justice, of integrity, and of service. Stacia Hilton, director of the United States Marshal Service, said Josie Wells was into work at 6 a.m. every day. His goal was to hunt criminals and get them off the streets. His life tragically ended while doing the job he loved. He was a man of dedication, of faith, a great love and compassion. A man who worked diligently to protect our judicial process, to eradicate our communities of violent fugitives and sex offenders that prey on our young. And that dedication sadly brought us to this moment today. Lauren Sargepone, Local 15 News. Well, Eric Holder also wrote a letter President Obama wrote to Josie's family. It said, as a deputy United States Marshal, Josie devoted himself to keeping Americans safe and upholding the laws and ideals that make us who we are.